This is something I call scaling the ladder. It's a vertical playing, it's a vertical uh, technique in playing, uh, which means that uh, you're, you're playing up and down the neck as opposed to across the neck. The advantage to that is that um, you can get to uh, many more notes, you've got more, if you're just playing horizontally this way, uh, you're, you're, you're limited to about uh, two octaves, whereas uh, if you play the full full length of the neck, you've got you know four or five octaves. So it opens out the sound and it creates it creates much more contrast in, in my view anyway. If you're stuck in one place, you're kind of clustering the notes closely together, and you're not really getting that um, that uh, you know opening up of of, uh, of notes and so on. So. Uh, there are various ways to do this, um, and probably one of the easiest ways is to demonstrate um, uh, a lick that uh, Joe Paz um, apparently played, and it's over a, a B dominant seventh, and it uses uh, arpeggios and quite large leaps, so you've got to get into position quite quickly. Um, it's not something that you can, uh, you can learn in, in two seconds. It goes something like this. Okay, so he's kind of playing an A flat arpeggio, a C, F minor, and as you can see, he starts down here and he ends right up here. So um, Pat Martino was another great innovator of uh, he's another great innovator of jazz guitar, and um, the technique that he sometimes uh, uses is just sliding down with the index finger. So he plays quite chromatically. Um, but it's a very effective way of, of getting your, your way around the neck. For example, there's one slide, and there's another slide, and so on. Okay, that would work quite nicely over, over a C minor. The gypsy jazz guitar players love those arpeggios, those huge leaps, and they go up all over the place, particularly people like Beryllia Legren, who says he's influenced greatly by uh, violin playing. Um, I, I don't actually have any of his uh, ideas um, off pad, but um, the sorts of things that he might do would be uh, you're working very much off arpeggios, but you've come from the third fret right up here to the eleventh fret in the space of uh, you know a second or two. So that's quite an effective way of getting to a different position and opening up the sound with those large intervals. Um, another one might be uh, on a G minor idea. See how quick you've gone up there? You've gone from down here, right up there to the 15th. Just one idea, a few notes, and... Um, very simple ideas. Um, another one um, is just doing sort of half step, whole step ideas. Um, this might work over a 2 5 1 in D minor. It starts here on A, goes up to B flat, then goes to D, to D, to E, and it just repeats that idea. That's all it is. But you see how you've gone from here up to here and uh, a nice effective little technique for um, opening up the sound there again with uh, repetitive ideas. Um, another one would be just a kind of a, uh, you know, the diminished is a great scale to, to use um, and great arpeggios to use to get you up and down the neck as well. Uh, this is one, it's kind of a hybrid scale. Not doing this very well, sorry. That would work quite nicely over a, um, a D dominant altered chord. Um, another one, two quicker changes, E half diminished A, D to G, starting up here. Okay, we're using kind of uh, flat sharp lines um, to get our way through this. 
So we're now in the G position to play off um, any ideas that we might have uh, for, for chords, so like, a, like a G minor or whatever. Uh, we're well, well in position for that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know if that's useful to people. It's something that I puzzled over for many uh, years and, and tried to work out myself. I saw lots of players who were moving around the neck a lot, sometimes just in small amounts, um, which is fine too. Um, one has to do that. But to get the full range of notes, to get that good contrast of, of, uh, of notes, I think that you have to start working on ideas to get you up and down um, the, the fretboard fluently playing through the changes. So uh, anyway, I, uh, I hope that was useful to you and thank you uh, for listening if it was.